Well, you know what? I'm smiling right now. Hello, I'm Tina Jennings. Now, today's older adults are truly redefining how they spend their retirement years. In fact, as baby boomers enter into this chapter of their life in huge numbers, we can expect them to embrace a wide variety of new interests and really experiences. For instance, more and more older adults here in Tucson are setting down the golf clubs and picking up paintbrushes as artistic pursuits kind of take center stage. Joining us today are Gail Morgan and Margaret Carlac Russo from Splendido to talk about about this growing phenomenon. Ladies, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. So Gail, let's talk about Splendido and really what you guys do. Splendido is a life plan community in Oro Valley for those 55 and better. So if you're fortunate enough to be 55 or older, you could choose Splendido. When you move to Splendido, you enjoy a wonderful lifestyle of recreation and fitness and wellness, Plus, you have restaurants to choose from, someone is going to clean your apartment each day. So you have this wonderful maintenance-free lifestyle, but down the road, should you need care or services, they're included and available right there on site at the health center. And I know you touched on the word wellness, and Splendido really kind of has a, a unique outlook when it comes to that. Exactly. Splendido decided that we're changing what used to be known as retirement. So we've actually coined a new word, repriorment. So when you move to Splendido, maybe you take retirement and you change it into repriorment. So what we're saying is those list of things we had to do, you know, housekeeping and pick up the dry cleaning and the groceries, change that list into new priorities. And that allows you to pursue passions perhaps you put on hold while you were raising your family or having your career. So you've reprioritized what you want the next chapter to be like. I love this. I'm loving this idea. And we're kind of focusing on one of those things that you maybe can get back to or pick up as a new thing. We're talking kind of like about art and things of that sort. And so, Margaret, we're talking about art. You're an art therapist, right? Correct. What do you really do as, a, as an art therapist? Well, an art therapist is a trained mental health professional. And uh, I have credentials on art therapy registration and board certification. What I do basically is use the creative arts and the creative process as a way for people to express themselves and deal with different issues that they may be concerned about. So you would be the perfect person to ask, why do you think that maybe getting into the arts or going back to the arts is so valuable? Well, our creative pursuits are valuable on so many different levels for your health in general. Um, but uh, often when people are retired, they have an opportunity of free time that they didn't have before and they can have a chance to explore different creative pursuits that maybe they've been interested in or they want to try something new. Uh, it, creativity has been shown to really boost um, mental health as people age. So it's a wonderful avenue to pursue. And I know we say maybe the word art and people automatically just think like paintbrushes and, and painting and art of that sort. But Gail, there's many different ways you can kind of be creative and express yourself. There are so many. The residents at Splendido have a long list of choices. Line dancing, where they're choreographing and they're performing uh, ballroom dancing. Also writers. We have poets. We have people writing their biographies. They're writing comedy shows. So there's also the written word. But you know, we actually, we have a platform and if someone is interested in something, we try to help make it so. We had a resident that moved to Splendido in his 90s, always loved photography, but he decided in his 90s to try and create the ability to slow motion photograph water droplets. Wow. And in his 90s, in his apartment studio at Splendido, he has come up with a trademark patented method of photography. He's in the Smithsonian, he's showing worldwide. And so whatever art is interest, whatever creative mm -hmm. pursuits, we try to bring the platform to the residents. That's mm -hmm. absolutely so interesting. One, I would have never have thought of that, but the fact that he took that on and is so successful yes. Um, at that, you know, and even if maybe we're looking at all these wonderful pictures or we, we hear this wonderful story, even if maybe we aren't necessarily developing something, but just being around the arts itself can really be effective to us as well. 
Truly, you know, one of the things that we, the reason we're so emphatic about arts yeah. and the availability in our communities is we have an institute on aging. It's called Mather Lifeways Institute on Aging. They do nothing but research wellness. One of the research proved that just even seeing art, just seeing art can actually evoke positive attitudes and positive emotions, like mm -hmm. Carla said. So just seeing art can improve one's day, one's week, and one's requirement. So we really have found through the Institute that it is something that we have to maintain in our community. I think that is awesome. And so mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about all that we can gain and benefit from arts, whether doing it, being around it, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. How do we really gauge how people are getting this value or how do you see that in others? Well, it's interesting because uh, from my point of view, you don't have to be a uh, fantastic at any one thing. It's really about engaging and um, how you feel through the process. So when you notice people maybe socializing a little bit more, people are um, out doing things, becoming more active, those are the signs that creativity and um, this pursuit is really a benefit to them. I think this is uh, amazing. I think I love this new, as we're saying, is kind of redefining of you know what we can do, what we should be doing, or things you didn't even know you love. I love that that we can pick up something brand new mm -hmm. and be really successful at it, being around others that are kind of enjoying it as well. Yes. So, ladies, you have done a wonderful job sitting down with me. Thank you so much for uh, reminding us how wonderful Splendido is. Thank you. Oh, oh no, you guys are wonderful. Now, to learn more about Splendido, call them at eight seven eight twenty six hundred or log on to SplendidoTucson.com.